Hi, good afternoon, friends. Teacher Bree here to do another circle time. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We're gonna start with the hello song. Let's sing hello, hello. Let's sing hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Let's sing hello, hello. Let's wave hello, hello. Let's wave hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Let's wave hello, hello. to color and if you're in my class you will be getting a copy of this and it is called where is the butterfly you could find this on the measuredmom.com if you're not in my class you can go there and print out a copy <clears throat> we're gonna say each page where is the butterfly? Look, the butterfly is above the flowers. Where is the butterfly? Look, the butterfly is between the bees. Where is the butterfly? The butterfly is beside the tree. Where is the butterfly? The butterfly is in front of the kitten. Where is the butterfly? The butterfly is on top of the frog. Where is the butterfly? The butterfly is below the bridge. Where is the butterfly? The butterfly is near the girl, right near her. Where is the butterfly? The butterfly is under the net. Uh-oh, what do you think might happen? Do you think the net might catch the butterfly? Oh, then it would be in the net. So that is a nice book to work on prepositions, where things are, above, below, in between, next to, near. Those are all words we need to practice so that we can understand where things are. When people tell us where things are, when we say, mom, where's my toy? And she says, under the couch. Then you'll know what those words mean and you'll be able to find it, right? Okay, today we're gonna look at the easel again. I have the easel today. And I'm gonna talk about the letter B again because I have a special trick for you guys. Watch this. We're gonna use the letter B. We're gonna write a letter B, an uppercase B. And then I'm gonna turn it into a butterfly. I can't wait to show you. So first thing I'm gonna do is draw a big line down. Then I'm gonna jump to the top and I'm gonna make a small curve to the middle. Then I'm gonna go to the middle and I'm gonna make a small curve to the bottom. Here's the trick. After you make the letter B, you can go on the other side and make a small curve to the middle and a small curve to the bottom. And then you can make some huh, antenna at the top and you can take your pen and you can make a 
body. And then, cool thing is, I have paint on my easel. So you could use paint, or you could use, let's see, paint in there? You could use paint, and you can make symmetrical designs. That means both sides are the same. Symmetrical means both sides are the same. So whatever I do on this side, I need to do on this side. And then I'm gonna color the body. And then you know you can even add little eyes and a mouth if you want to, to your butterfly. So you might not have paint like I do, but you could have maybe have markers and you could even make some squiggles. Oh, my marker's running out of ink. You could make squiggles and different things, but it's supposed to be the same on both sides. That's how butterflies are. They're the same on both sides. We call it symmetrical. So you can make a big B and turn it into a butterfly. That is a fun trick. We are gonna do a song called The Alphabet Rock. And I hope you join me to do this song. So you can pretend like you're playing your guitar. You can pop. your parents go to starfall.com and show them the ABCs and do the letter B with them um, or you can think of words that say b, b, b at the beginning like butterfly and bird and brie all say b, b at the beginning maybe you can think of some more words that start with b at the beginning all right my friends thank you Goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you again tomorrow.